ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Raid Shadow Legends. We have some more information and a new promo code to enter into the game. I did post it yesterday. If you're not following my Discord, get over here and get on the Discord. The promo code was posted last night. Immediately, once everybody found out, all you had to do was be in Discord, at everybody, new promo code, and there you have it. I want to talk about the changes to Bommel the Dreadhorn. Is it really going to help us out? What are they doing here with this? And the dupe system is coming out. We have the dupe system coming to the game in 4.9. Unfortunately, we don't know when 4.9 is going to come out. It says right here, the most important thing, a new game-changing feature, Guardian Ring, which if you don't know what the Guardian Ring is, let's go back and review this really quick. This is the Guardian Ring from the official video they sent us on this, showing everything that has to do with the dupe system. We've got Faction Guardians, Champion Empowerment, and then Champion Unbinding to get our life tokens. I think that's what they called them. 4.9, I wanna know how powerful legendary champions get when you empower them. It's great that we can help out our rares, our epics, and our legendaries in the way that you saw there in the ring. But what happens when you throw one legendary into another, or you throw five, which is max, how strong do they get? Do they get crazy strong? We don't know any details, they've never told us. If it's crazy strong, I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. There's some accounts that I get on to do summons that are insane. They have so many copies of every legendary out there. It would just be overpowered. Don't let me forget to input that promo code. I have not entered it into my game yet. Let's read here on Bommel. Bommel the Dreadhorn is going to be tamed. I don't think he's going to be tamed in the way they're talking about taming him does not pertain to stage 50 or 90. It's only going to change all of normal and then 10 on hard, stage 10. We don't need that. We need to make Bommel easier to beat on 50 and on especially on 90. But we've got so many ways to beat Bommel. Right here it says that the explosive temper somewhat, they're going to tame that down, will decrease some of his stats on all stages on normal difficulty. <laughs> They're making him easier to beat on normal. I feel like by now, if you've watched my YouTube videos, we can beat him on all stages, especially normal, if you just have a Templar, which we can farm on campaign. So that's no problem. Solo with Templar and beat it. Or if you have Berengiri, who is the other one? The dwarf, the, the, the dwarf with the teeth, the really ugly one. You could bring him in and do some things there there's easy ways to beat it like there's easy ways to solo normal we needed help on the harder stages normal difficulty and on the 10th stage of hard the chance of his passive that used to stun player teams will be halved so that's going to help out right to stun the team the chance to do that is going to be halved whenever we have a bomb go off on that's what would happen whenever a bomb would go off on our allies it would stun the whole entire team your whole team stunned you can't do anything else you're just gonna die bomb will just does so much damage he's got that increased attack anytime you apply a debuff you get a bomb they should have done something with that applying a bomb whenever you get a debuff maybe limited the times you can do that to you or something 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 different to help us out because I don't think what they did here is going to help but we're not there yet we can't even look at Bommel's abilities right now because of the way they changed the doom tower how you check everything out so we can't even look over it all until the next doom tower rotation this one makes me laugh bombs on Bommel are going to become more viable Bommel will become more vulnerable to the damage from bomb debuffs in order to make bombs a relevant tactic against him. I don't see that happening. Poison damage does almost as much as bombs. And bombs are supposed to do, what, two times the damage on Bommel already? Just give bombs up. Take bombs out of the game and make all those champions that have bombs good. Because which champion out there that applies bombs is even used or good in the game? Every time we pulled like three Astralis this weekend. On a two times ancient. On Friday night alone, we pulled like three Astro lifts and it was not fun. It's the egghead girl that does the bombs. It wasn't a good time for the people that got her. And maybe they should just get rid of bombs and try a new tactic on Bommel. But they actually buffed him at the end of this. So maybe th because they buffed him, they had to go nerf him a little bit to help out. Please note that in update 4.80, we fixed a technical bug where the Dreadhorn's Magma Flood skill, it no longer goes on cooldown when HP burn debuffs are activated by the Ruinous Crush skill. All I know is that we have easier ways to beat Bommel. We have ways to beat Bommel from our Templar here. We can farm him in campaign and we can beat every stage of Bommel all the way up to 50 Doom Tower hard. We can't do 90. We cannot do 90 Doom Tower hard with Bommel, but we can solo 
with Samar on 90, and we can solo with Crimson Helm on 90. So if you're lucky enough to have Crimson Helm, easy times. If you're lucky enough to have Samar, even easier. And then if you want to go farm a Templar, you can beat all of normal very easily, and you can beat 10 and 50 of Doom Tower Heart. Templar is amazing. Use this guy, solo with him, and you never have to worry about Bommel again. I hope they didn't mess up how we solo. I don't think so. I don't think that one remark about how they're talking about that one skill going on cooldown. The worst thing about Bommel is removing buffs and then applying a bomb. That skill was the dirty one. That's the one that would really hurt us from soloing. And I don't think they messed with that at all, so I think we're safe. The next CVC tournament will unfold on November 23rd, and it will feature personal rewards. Let me know how you feel about personal rewards. I was actually able to get a couple of them because we were real way down on the totem pole as far as clan versus clans go. We were going to get an easy win, so I just went ahead and got that 500,000. I went over to the forge, and I had 1,000 things to make. I made a 500 maybe or so. I got a lot of points, and it was easy times. And I think I auto-farmed a lot of spider. I wasn't, I didn't need to be at my computer. I just auto farmed it and I was able to get the points and get the personal rewards. Remember though, personal rewards are still tied to you actually winning. Your clan has to win to get those personal rewards. I don't really care about that. I'm not a big CVC person, but the personal rewards are nice for all those whales out there who really spend and go crazy on this and get them that extra sacred shard and whatever else was in there. Real hell worked. I just put it in. I got all these rewards. What we really need to talk about, though, are the barrel and XP. There's nothing wrong with that. I've been using it in Summoner's War for a really long time to instantly upgrade one of your champions. That's great. That's good for all the whales that joined the game because the game's been out for quite a while. Support the game. Support the company so we don't have to spend a lot of money and they get to catch their champions up, which doesn't affect us one bit. So I'm not mad about that. What I am mad about is that they included a barrel right here, which is where we would normally get a legendary book. So all you people out there that would get two legendary books, now you get this barrel? That's a joke. That is bad on them, and you should let them know. Guys, let them know. And then what was here? I think there was a legend. Maybe there was a legendary book here. Now you get a feast. <laughs> so silly. That's bad. That is really bad. I hope they don't start taking away all the legendary books we were getting out there and including barrels and feasts. If that happens, we'll never get legendary books, right? It's going to be a very slow process then. That's all I've got, everyone. I think that was everything on the update. I think I'm getting close to getting Cleopatra soon. We should be able to unlock her the next month around. And we're getting close to getting Val over there in the Doom Tower Hard Secret Rooms, which I do want to play him. I'm going to have him in a few days. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below and subscribe if you haven't. I will see you all in a video soon.